Welcome back to the Eagle Sports Coaches Show here from the Lynn Miller Room. Sean Woods has joined us for our final segment for this week's show. And, Coach, uh, you know, we were talking to Tom about the the difficulty of the schedule. I mean, you just go from one hard game to one hard game to one hard game. Hey, nowadays everybody's good, you know. So, uh, you know, everybody's trying to figure out a way to win games. And it, this thing's so competitive that n there's not one night that's an easy night. And so that's that's the nature of college basketball. Marshall, you got your first taste of that series. Uh, pretty uh, big crowd over at the Cam Henderson Center. And, uh, you know, uh, what, uh, what do you, how do you see that game? I mean, what did, what, what, was, what did you think about that game? Well, I thought we played tough enough. Um, you know, we, we got to figure out a way to play without fouling or getting all these, these teams shooting a lot of all these free throws against us. It's kind of hurting us a little bit. But we're just going to continue to do what we do and continue to get better. We're not there yet. As everyone see, we're, we're playing hard, but we're still not playing smart. Um, I thought we took a, took a step back effort-wise against the right state. But uh, yesterday, you know, we had a heck of a practice, and uh, if we can build on it, we'll, you know, we're going to be all right. So uh, we watched the tape. We were kind of embarrassed on how we play, especially from an effort standpoint. And I think our guys are starting to, you know, they're getting it. It's, it's just going to be a process, you know. And, uh, we kind of spoiled everyone, including myself, you know, the, the great start that we had. Uh, but, you know, things started to settle, level off a little bit, and now we got to get that, that fire back in our eyes again. I thought it started last night in practice. You know, any time that you take over a program in, in the first year and you have that expectations out there, the fact is you're going to have peaks and valleys. And this, this may be a little valley, but it doesn't have to be a, a long, deep valley. No doubt about it. We're not planning on it to be. <laughs> uh, you know, but we've played two tough teams at home. You know, uh, Marshall's picked second, I think, in their league. Uh, I think Rice State's up there, and Rice State's a well-coached team, and they're, they're a veteran team. And uh, you can tell that we're not veterans, uh, that we're still, you know, are, are still learning the process a little bit. And, and uh, but um, you know, and we're playing with some key guys out. You know, Angelo played some minutes the other night against Rice State, but still not 100%, and Drew Kelly's still out. So um, I'm just waiting to get my whole team back. But everything happens for a reason. It's allowing some of these other guys that wouldn't play as much to get some minutes and some significant minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, once we get back, now my depth gets even deeper. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be fine. It's just we're, we're, we're still banged and bruised up and trying to figure it out all at the same time. You know, as you mentioned, that uh, the fact that you got players hurt and banged up and, and now you're relying on some kids that you might not relied on that much going into this part of the season. Right. But then if they get the, the, the playing time and the experience and learning your system, then it has to help when we get to the conference season. No doubt about it. You know, now I'll really be playing – 12, 13 guys, you know what I mean? And I don't mind that. Uh, that means every time I got five guys on the floor, they're fresh. And uh, we're getting the same type of uh, uh, same, same type of results that we're getting from the first five. So um, I'm not, there's no sense of panicking. You know, we, we had a little, you know, a couple bumps in the road, uh, but that's to be expected with the new coach and new system and all that type of deal. But uh, our guys really were embarrassed after the Wright State game, and I think that was a wake-up call for everyone. Uh, and I look to have uh, better better results these next couple games at home, which you know, we need. You mentioned about your style of play. I mean, it's all out, full bore, 94 feet. Do you want players, if they get tired, to tell you? Yes. Because I didn't know how yes. that works. Because I know how players are. They ain't going to tell you they're tired because they don't want to go out. And that's been a problem. Yeah. You know, uh, you got some guys that's trying to save some energy and m having some mishaps defensively because they want to save their energy for the offensive end. That's been selfish. Yeah. And uh, I think we kind of nipped some of those things in the bud these last couple of days, especially yesterday. So, uh, you know, it, everything's a buy-in. You know, uh, I had six guys that were all conference last year and nobody played over 24 minutes except for my point guard. So uh, once they get to know that you get the same results in less amount of time, it's about quality, yeah. not quantity. And uh, these guys are starting to see it now. You know, um, you know, Milton thought, well, man, I'm going to save some energy because I know I got to score on the other. Yeah. No, no, that's not it. I need you to rebound and be a great defensive player like everyone else needs to be. And then, you know, you'll get steals just by playing hard. You know, you'll get – layups and, and, and drives just by playing hard. 
So don't save any energy, you know what I mean? And now, um, you know, I challenged my seniors yesterday, big time. Yeah. You know, I just told them, look, you know, if you guys aren't going to do the things I need you to do, you know, I'll just concentrate on the younger guys and recruit, you know, and, and, and – Wake up call and, for and, and no doubt about it. And I'm you know, I stuck to my guns. Yeah. And they brought it yesterday. And if they can continue to bring it like they did yesterday, we'll be okay. Yeah, I know your system is, uh, you know – unique in a way because you're playing 94 feet it's a little bit of the nolan richardson you know 40 minutes of heck i'll say heck mm -hmm. but uh but you know but if they don't tell you and they're tired and they get beat then like you said that is selfish that is selfish and it's hurting the team because now we're not maximizing uh the, the potential of our basketball team because i got somebody over here fresh that can give me the same amount of production and you're out there you know what i'm saying saving some that's that, that that's a no-no so this week, uh, get back in action on uh, Wednesday night, having a home game, and uh, need a big crowd out to support the people. No doubt about it, and that's been key. You know, we we gotta make this a big time place to play, and that's what I'm preaching on right now. Is you know, you only as good as your your, your fan base and, and your core, which is home. And if if that's not there, then you you know it, it, it's a it's a toss up. This has got to be a place where everybody in the country knows when they come in here it's a tough place to play. We already got you psychologically worn down just because you know it's going to be a tough place to play. So that's half the battle. So, you know, I, I need everybody out there to know that Moorhead State basketball needs you. You're part of the process. And to get this place to where it needs to be and where we're trying to take it, everybody's got to be involved in the situation, not just the basketball team. Bison's rolling here at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Of course, 6.45 airtime on the ESN. Also available on OVC Digital Network. Uh, and, uh, Sean, you know, it, it's like uh, the old saying, and, uh, you know, you played at the University of Kentucky. The fact is when you're a defensive team, you want to meet them out when they get off the bus and, exactly. be, able, and uh, be able to follow them all the way around until they leave. And we, we, we got to do that. And how we do that is we give everything we got for four or five minutes spurts and somebody else comes in and do the same thing and because other teams can't do that because they're only playing six to seven guys max. So that that's the beauty of our deal and that's what our system does. It wears people down. Let's talk about something that you, you – I'll surprise you with this, but we were kidding you about your uh, – High school picture, uh, <laughs> Indiana State High School Athletics. Uh, Your was announced. You were announced a member of the of the Hall of Fame, uh, the next induction class. Well, that's that's uh, very humbling uh, because everyone knows all the great players that's ever played in Indiana high school basketball, and to be uh, considered in that class is, is very very gratifying. Um, you know, it was almost 25 years ago when I played high school basketball and um, I played in one of the you know historical uh, state venues of all this, of all of high school basketball sports period um, and it's very very humbling very very excited I'm 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 gratified you know I'm 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 I'm, I'm happy that that I was considered you know and uh, I go in with a great class and Sean Kemp um, you know Woody Austin if you look at that class that's getting inducted and you look at the you know, the, the, where they went to school at, they all, we all had great college careers. And, uh, you know, we, we, I was very, very fortunate and uh, very, very happy to, to be inducted into the Indiana High School Basketball Hall of Fame. You go from the Indiana Hall of Fame and, you know, you're hanging from Rupp Arena and the rafters. That has to feel good uh, that your pr playing career meant something. Well, no doubt about it. But, you know, I got to give all the credit to my mom uh, because she drove me unteenth miles to, to, to for me to participate in all these venues, whether it was AAU, high school. She never missed a home game at UK. Um, you know, even when I was a kid playing sixth, seventh grade, you know, she took me all over the country to play basketball. And that's what me and my wife are doing now. I can't do it as much, but my wife does it for my little boy, and uh, he's very, very fortunate. And my oldest son, who went through the same thing. So, you know, I'm I'm very blessed to to be raised and to be coached by some of the people that raised me and coached me. So we're in a big crowd out here on Wednesday, and we're going to uh, work on getting better effort. <laughs> and if they need a break, they all they have to do is look over and tell you. You know, you know, it could be that sometimes when you're trying to impress a new coach, 
you don't want to tell them that you're tired because you know the conditioning wise and everything but that you know that's I guess the fine line you're walking right now well no doubt about it but they understand that hey you know um if you're tired I'm gonna get you out you're gonna get back in you know that's just how a system goes I mean we're playing 10, 11, sometimes See, 12 guys a night. Because my coach took me out, he just forgot about me. Well, <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that at all. You know, it's a 40 minute game, and that's strategically, that's what we try to do is wear the other team out with our depth. So you never forgotten on my bench. Quick, uh, just scouting report on the Bisons coming in on Wednesday. They're a lot like Wright State. You know, very continuity offense. They like a lot of motion. They shoot the three very, very well, and they're going to try to pack it in and make us shoot over them. So uh, our deal is we got we got to spread them out. But not only that, we got to pose our will on them defensively with our pressure. Seven o'clock at Johnson Arena on Wednesday night, and of course we need a big crowd on hand. Uh, Coach Woods have made the challenge to come on out, make this the toughest play in the Ohio Valley Conference and mid-major mid major conference uh, or college uh, to, to play. And we'll see you next week, Coach. No doubt about it. All right. Sean Woods, head coach here at Morehead State University. That's going to do it for this edition of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. For everyone involved, I'm Jason Blanton. Until next time, so long, everybody.